Charles the mansion, not a house but a tomb He's always choking from the stench and the fume The wedding party all collapsed in the room So say my resignation Hey guys, Josh Taylor Vlogs back at you with another video today And I'm going to actually show you the process of me setting up my new 20 gallon freshwater tropical aquarium So when I was younger I used to keep fish I begged and begged my parents and they finally let me get a goldfish He lived for quite a few years Then I got into tropical fish a little bit I had like a 10 gallon and a 5 gallon at one point, so Boris, my beta Siamese fighting fish, or betta fish I think they're pronounced, he has been in a bowl for a year or two and I don't feel good about that because as a former fish owner and keeper, you're supposed to provide them with an environment with enough heat with a thermometer and proper pH as well as like an air pump so they get more oxygen. So I'm going to be putting him in the 20 gallon and making a community tropical tank. I think I'm going to do Neon Tetras, like a school of those, a Placostomus, even though I know they grow really big, but I'm going to start out with this tank and see where it goes. But a Placostomus is an algae eater, and like it cleans up the bottom of the tank because it's a bottom feeder. And I just have these little Pleco wafers to feed it whenever I get it. So today I'm just setting up the aquarium itself and the gravel and the decorations and making sure the water pH is proper and the conditioner gets out the chemicals that it's supposed to because I live in the city so you're never supposed to just give tap water uh, you're never supposed to just put fish in with tap water right away you're supposed to condition it properly test the pH and then wait 24 hours as well as making sure it's up to proper temp which is 74 or 72 to 78 degrees or something like that I gotta look into that but yeah I filled most of it up I have like one or two more buckets left to fill the tank and so here it is so far so it's a nice one originally I wanted one that had like a longer length so the fish could swim more but this is what they had and it came in a starter kit it's a pretty good size got a little stand for it at Walmart wasn't too bad um, this is the box itself so comes with all those items here Filter, net, thermometer, water, testing vial, a hood with a light. So that's pretty cool. But I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey while I set it up. So here we go. Hey guys, so it's almost full. I think I'm gonna add like a half bucket more because it's supposed to be like almost all the way up to the black, but not quite. So I'm just gonna fill it with a little bit of room left. So you're always supposed to rinse the gravel that you get before you put it into the aquarium in case there are toxic chemicals or other things that are bad for your fish. So I picked out this glowfish, um, kind of rainbowish neon colored set of pebbles. I got three bags here. So I wanted purple, but they did not have any where I got this. So I might add some purple to it later. So here we go. We're just going to cut the bags open, put them in the little bucket and rinse it out. And you don't want to use soap because obviously that can be toxic as well. I'm not an expert by any means and I can always learn something, but just figured I'd show you guys my process of me setting it up. Experience the glow. I think I filled it a little bit too much with water. I kind of forgot to accommodate for adding the gravel and everything else. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it out right now. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. So I'm just gonna use my trusty Coca-Cola cup. I 
feel like that's pretty decent. Okay, so next I think I'm going to install the filter and then we're going to go from there. I'm going to smoothen or even up this gravel. I'm going to put the ornaments in, put the thermometer, uh, the heater in, and we're going to go from there. So I did also get this extendable gravel vacuum. So it extends to 17 inches and it helps you vacuum up your gravel. Got these aqua plants. Got this giant thing of Tetra, Tetra Color Tropical Flakes. They were on sale. I also picked up this Whisper Air Pump. Got these Easy Strips, six in one aquarium test strips by Tetra. You're able to find out the pH, the chlorine level, nitrite, uh, hardness, nitrate, and alkalinity. Got this Action Air Aquarium ornament, this little scuba diver with a treasure chest. You just hook that into the air pump and it's a decoration. It provides more oxygen for them and it moves, so that's cool. Got this Aqua Safe by Tetra. It makes tap water safe, so it helps remove chlorine and everything like that, it protects them. And I decided to go with SpongeBob theme, so I have SpongeBob's pineapple under the sea. I got Gary the snail. I got SpongeBob. Some safe start to cycle new aquariums, so I'm going to be putting this in tonight. So you also want to rinse off any decorations that you're going to put in your aquarium, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the result so far. I actually took a couple pieces from Boris's fish bowl and added them like that column there, or those set of columns, and then this purplish, pinkish plant, artificial plant here. I think I'm gonna adjust it a little bit and I might actually get Squidward's house to join SpongeBob's pineapple. A few moments later. Okay guys, so here's a final look at my 20 gallon top fin aquarium community tank. I have about 10 zebra daniels in there. I have four red minor tetras, two powder blue gouramis, two quarry catfish, one bristle nose placostomus, and an African dwarf frog actually. So you, I'm sorry you guys can't see everybody right now. Everybody's kind of just chilling. It's early morning here, but I do love the Zebra Daniels. I've had them before. Super active fish that like to school, so not sure if this is an underwhelming result. If you were expecting something more, sorry about that. But this is what I ended up with for the final setup. I thought having more decorations was a little too cluttered, so I did end up removing a lot of them. But I'm keeping them anyway. That way, if I ever get a 55 gallon aquarium or something, I've already got things to stock it with. So please stay tuned. I do plan on doing updates as I get new fish and or have growth of these fish. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button for me below. It really makes a big difference to me, you guys, and you'll be helping me quite a bit if you smash that like button, leave a comment below because it helps keep my engagement up and helps my channel get out there a little more. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the push bell notification so you're notified each and every time I upload a new video, which is fairly frequent, usually once or twice a week, random content. So make sure you guys stay tuned because we have a lot more vlogs and other types of videos coming along. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.